Hello it's Jay here and welcome to another tutorial. In this lesson we're continuing on with the dynamic weather script and here's where we left off last time. We was reactivating the correct particle system for the weather state and in this lesson we're going to handle the light intensity. Now we already defined values for our light intensity here and we also set a value for our light dim time and as I explained before you may want to alter all of these variables but we're going to use these for testing so first things first let's come into sunny and we're going to say if open brackets get component and the component we want is light and we'll close brackets we'll open and close dot and we want to get the intensity and we're going to say if that's greater than our maximum intensity close brackets and we'll come to the next line then we want to do the same we want to get component light intensity and we can just copy this bit please don't get the bracket in there with it and what we want to do is minus and equals time dot delta time times our underscore light dim time and we'll close the line off there so let's go through this little bit of code we're saying we want to get the light we want to get the intensity of that light and if it's greater than max because we're in sunny so greater than max we want to get that light again we want to get the intensity and we want to minus that intensity by time dot delta time times our light dim time. Now, if we just use time dot delta time, it would count down in real time. But um, we don't. We want to actually slow the rate, which is why we times by our light dim time, which is what we've defined up the top. And you may want to, as I said, experiment with these values up here once we've completed the script but um, I'm going to use these values now for testing purposes but let's go ahead and we'll put this into the comments so we'll say if the light intensity is greater than our max intensity then we'll come to the next line and we'll say then minus intensity by our light dim time and we can just copy both those lines there and we'll come below and we'll just paste in and I'm sure you've guessed well, all we're going to do is change from greater to less than if it's less than our max then we want to add so it'll be a plus and an equal sign and we can just change out the comments so we'll change greater to less then add intensity to our light and again by light dim time and we can copy all four lines now and we'll just paste it in for each one of the weather states and one last one here and I'm sure you've guessed we're just going to go through like we've done many times before and we're just going to change out the value so this one will change to minimum so we'll change the comments and again here and here we want to change to our mist intensity and again below and just remember to swap out the comments as well and I also need to change it here 
and we can clean this up some of these lines won't be necessary but we'll do some tidying up to the script once we have it completed we'll do some, do some optimization then but we'll keep going through and we'll change this to overcast intensity and again we'll swap it out here and here as well and one last one for the snow intensity and again we'll just swap out the comments and we'll save that off there for now now we'll come back up to the top here and we'll come back to our intensity values here now I use min and max I'm using max for sunny I'm using minimum for thunder and then I've defined the others by name now I did this to show you a simple thing you can do in scripting now you may want to use just minimum and max for example if you only want one type of weather i.e. raining and the rest of the time you just want to be sunny you can just use a min and max value but when you've got multiple weather states like we have in this script here it's best to define them by name so rather than having to go through the script and change all instances all we can do is highlight the value and we'll hit F2 and we come up with this here and we're going to change this to underscore thunder intensity and if we hit OK as you can see it's changed here but if we come down to the funder it's also changed here as well and it will go through the entire script and change all instances of that wording and we'll do the same for the maximum and of course I'll have to change the comments there we go underscore sunny intensity we hit OK and if we come to sunny as we can see it's changed here so I know some of you know already knew how to do this but I also know that the people out there that don't so hopefully now you do so that's the reason why I used min and max and named the other three so we could actually come back and it would allow me to show you this so in our next uh, lesson we'll work on the audio and as I said we'll, we'll be working on some optimization to the code we'll be putting in as well that'll be once we've actually finished the entire script let's just get something working to start with but um, I hope you enjoyed this video I hope to see you next time and until then bye for now